And today I have a little five minute craft for you guys and that is to make this pink bear Fortnite keychain. Now I don't play a whole lot of Fortnite or really Fortnite at all. I played the beta and I thought the characters were absolutely adorable. So for those of you Fortnite lovers here is a quick little craft that you can do with a sewing machine or hand sewing for a crafter noon. This is the perfect project. To start you'll want to choose your fabric and your pattern. I have this pattern. I found it free online. I just typed in circle or ball sphere pattern and I got it for free and I just printed it out. And I would suggest using some pink fur if you have it because the bear head is pink but I didn't have any so I decided to use felt. Now if you can't find this pattern online that's fine, just use a flower petal like shape. And if you use the flower petal method just make sure you cut about five to six, you know, depending on how large and how round you would like your stuffed animal keychain to be. I finished cutting out my main piece, so now I'm going to cut out all the little smaller pieces like the ears, the mouth, nose, and eyes. While everything's still flat and not sewn together, I take this opportunity to put the face together. It'll be a lot easier, especially if you're sewing. So once I have this pattern all cut out, it's time to sew the little triangles together. If you're doing the same project I am, don't forget to put in the ears in between the triangles on the inside so you can have them pop out and be on the outside when you sew it together. Again, if you're doing the same project as me, I would highly suggest cutting the notches for the sides of the ears lower because mine ended up being way too high. I quickly turn it inside out to check to make sure everything's in place and how I want it. Now this is where I noticed that the ears were a little bit too high, but I didn't want to rip it open and do it again. So to make it a keychain, I'm going to take this piece of ribbon, fold it in half, turn the thing inside out once more, and put the ribbon on the inside so it will pop out on top when I turned it inside out. My white felt is self-adhesive, but I didn't really trust the glue, so I decided to sew it all down before I moved on. And now the fun part, stuffing your keychain. Now this is where I decided I didn't like how square it was looking, so I went ahead and cut out another piece to make the stuffed animal a little bit wider. I really wish I would have done two more instead of one more because it still looks a little square but a lot better than this weird rectangle. For the finishing touches I decided to glue on the eyeballs and the nose because I felt like I needed a little bit more control with the placement once everything was finished. And then I decided to use a sharpie for the designs because I wanted to make this as simple and easy as possible. And now it's time to close the hole on the bottom of the keychain. I do this by using a ladder stitch which just means I take the needle and thread and sew it through from side to side with a straight across stitch creating a ladder and then pulling it gently so all of the stitches will pull the fabric together creating a hidden stitch and once I have that tied off I go ahead and, and I push the needle all the way through the keychain and then snip it so the remaining thread is hidden and now for the final part putting on the keychain now if you're going to put this on like a backpack or a purse somewhere where it's gonna get whipped around a lot you might want to glue or sew on the keychain part to the ribbon just to make sure it's extra secure and after that's all put on, you're done! Right, and there's your little pink bear from Fortnite plushie. Uh, I'm really glad that this was like a five minute craft because it was super easy and really fun to do. Um, if you're not using a sewing machine, obviously it's going to be a little bit longer. So, you know, hand sewing will probably be like a little crafternoon thing depending on your level and speed. Now what's cool about this is you don't have to have like a perfect sewing skill. You don't have to master sewing to be able to make this. Because all it is is just a bunch of petal shapes. Speaking of which, if you want this more round, mine came a lot more square than I thought uh, she would. But I would definitely add like one or two more petal pieces. I, as you can see, I added uh, another one from my original pattern. I probably should have added like two or three more, but I kind of like how insane this one looks and how weird. Also, uh, you might want to cut your slits a little bit lower for the ears um, because uh, mine are sitting up kind of high. I, I would have liked them to be more like on the point. Uh, but you know what, that's okay. I really don't want to mess with it because I love how crazy it looks. Uh, yeah, if you play Fortnite, even if you don't play Fortnite, 
You can definitely customize this into whatever character you want, as long as you have some felt, glue, uh, and some thread and needle, and then you can make literally whatever you want. So if you make this or something like this, tag me on Instagram, because I want to see. I want to see what you guys make, and if you make anything out of my videos, I want to know. So like, share, and subscribe, comments are always welcome, all of my links and such will be down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video, bye! I'd like to take this moment to thank my wonderful patrons, Lexi, Mariah, and Bibi. Thank you guys so much, if you'd like to be a patron, check the links below.